and Netflix or someone like that went back to monolith architecture for microservices and saved 90% in cloud cost. Of course. Like, this is obvious if you actually look at, you know, what you get in the end. And it's the same with every part of programming, right? You have all these people with a belief, like for example, microservices are much better than monolith because monoliths are unmaintainable, right? Okay, that's a claim. Evaluate that claim, please, right? If microservices are so much better, why do you suddenly need 500 people to do anything, right? And it's not just going to be saving in cloud cost. It's going to save massively in team size and time to market for features because you can, here's the thing, a monolithic program, you can actually debug, right? What do you do when you have like 15 services and something's not working right? You have to like chase down logs and correlate them across 15 services to like figure out, like with a program, you could just step in the debugger, dude, 